Welcome to the lecture number 33 of the course Quantum Mechanics and Molecular Spectroscopy. Until the last class we looked at the rotational and vibrational transitions and the associated selection rules. Today we are going to look at the electronic transitions and the possible selection rules for them. Electronic transitions happen between two different electronic states. Now what does this two different electronic states mean? Two different electronic states mean okay. For example, you have a molecule and one can define a uh, electronic configuration even for atoms you can define electronic configuration and let us suppose there are all field orbitals okay, using Pauli's exclusion principle or Aufbau principle comb combination of them. So, these are field orbitals and these are unfilled orbitals. Then what I can do is that by applying energy or putting a photon, then I can go in presence of H nu, I can go from okay. I have now transformed the electron or I have replaced electron from the lowest from the highest occupied atomic orbital or molecular orbital to a lowest unoccupied. So, this is what we call as HOMO and this is LUMO. Of course, one does not have to restrict to this, okay, one can go to LUMO uh, plus 1 to higher energy levels as well. So, one can always excite from here to here to here to various levels, but this is the lowest energy transition. Okay. So, what I am doing in this case is that I am promoting an electron from an occupied level to an unoccupied level that is the electronic transition. So, where you are displacing an electron from one orbital that is occupying to another orbital. Okay. These are called electronic transitions. By the way, when we have the uh, absorption, electronic absorption or what is known as the UV visible spectroscopy in which you actually take out electron from one of the orbitals, occupied orbitals and put it in the orbital that is unoccupied. Okay. Of course, you can also do from here to here. Okay. You can bring in the electrons that are uh, lower than HOMO. Okay. So, many possibilities exist. So, electronic transitions are many such possibilities. Okay. One can have HOMO to LUMO or HOMO minus 1 to LUMO or one can have HOMO to LUMO plus 1. So, these are this is HOMO minus 1, HOMO minus 2, HOMO minus 3. So, this is LUMO plus 1, LUMO plus 2, something like that. Okay. So, one can have many, many combinations okay. and you will see that this one that is HOMO to LUMO is the lowest energy possible transition. This is the lowest Now, it turns out that when you do that, Okay. Now, if you use the uh, uh, build up principle and you can have a wave function called as psi ground okay. and this wave function will correspond to the electronic configuration. Okay. And one could have a psi excited as to electronic configuration. This is HOMO, this 
is normal. Okay. Now, now there is one thing that I am trying to do here. Okay. If you see, if you see concentration homo and loma, what I have done, I have started from here and I have left to this. Okay. The other possibility is this. Sorry. Okay. Now, this state is represented by S is equal to 0, this state also is represented by S is equal to 0. Okay this is state is represented by s is equal to 1. Okay. So, when we have s is equal to 0, this we call it as a singlet state. When you have s is equal to a singlet state, and when you have s is equal to 1, we have triplet state. Okay. Now, s is equal to 0, s is equal to 1, triplet state, singlet state, this is because of the degeneracy of the wave functions. Okay. Now, uh, there are two things that are uh, possible. Okay. So, when you have psi g, okay, when you have this combination, this is loma. So, you could go to psi excited state in two possibilities, one is this, one, two, where s is equal to 0 or one would have psi So, that is s is equal to 1. So, this is a singlet, this is a triplet. So, one could have this is also singlet. So, when I go from psi ground to psi excited state, I can go from psi ground s 0, uh, s is equal to 0 to psi excited s is equal to 0 or I could go from a psi ground s is equal to 0 to psi excited s is equal to 1. So, this is called singlet singlet transition and this is called a singlet triplet transition. Now, I am the exact wave function will depend on the molecule in consider molecule or atom in consideration. Okay. Now, let us think of a transient moment integral. So, T m i will be equal to uh, integral psi ground okay, mu psi excited d tau that is going to be my transient moment integral. However, the way this transient moment integral has written has a problem because you see there is something called Born 
open approximation. Now, what does Born upon approximation say? It says that the electronic wave function parametrically depends on the nuclear coordinates. So, psi electronic is dependent on the electron coordinates, I would call it as i's, okay, and nuclear coordinates alphas. So, that means whenever the nucleus changes its position, the electronic wave function will change. And this gives rise to concept of potential energy surfaces. Therefore, your psi g okay, will consist of two things. This will consist of psi g electronic multiplied by psi g nuclear. Okay, and this comes out of the electronic transition or Bonamana Prana Oppenheimer approximation. Therefore, it is similarly you have psi excited will have two possibilities psi excited okay. let me call it as electronic electronic and psi excited nuclear okay so this wave function that you use in the transition moment integral it is bit more complicated So, one can therefore write your TMI will be equal to psi g mu psi e or rather other way around uh, d tau in fact this should be equal to the mu acts on psi g psi e mu psi g d tau. But you know this is a uh, Hermitian operator so it does not really matter okay because overall the transition moment integral must be a uh, uh, the transition moment integral square which is equal to which is proportional to the uh, uh, probability of transition this is square and it has to be a positive number okay so it does not really matter whether but technically this should be like this so this will be equal to your psi e will be equal to psi e electronic multiplied by psi e nuclear and your psi g will be equal to psi g electronic multiplied by psi g nuclear and the transition moment integral or the dipole moment vector can also be see you know there is electronic charge distribution and there is a nuclear charge distribution. So, one can always write mu as a sum of mu e plus mu n. Okay. Now, I can separate this into two things this is equal to integral psi e electronic okay, psi e nuclear okay, mu e Okay, rather I can psi g electronics psi g nuclear d tau plus integral. So, your total mu is written as mu e electronic plus mu nuclear okay. and psi e electronic psi e nuclear mu n psi g 
electronic psi g clear theta. Okay. So, now the total transition moment integral can be now divided into two such integrals. One because of the electronic dipole moment and other is the nuclear dipole moment. Okay. Now, evaluation of these two integrals is not very, it is going to be challenging. So, one makes another approximation called Condon approximation. So, essentially what are we looking at in this? Okay. We are looking at how the electron wave function changes with respect to the nuclear coordinates. Okay. The electronic function does change with respect to nuclear coordinates. However, what we figure out is the, the dipole moment, the nuclear dipole moment or the dipole moment or it is a nuclear dipole moment mu n depends weakly on the electronic coordinates. So, that means this dependence on these coordinates is very weak that is why we can neglect this term. And this neglection is called Condon approximation. So, your transition moment integral, okay. so your TMI or other way to write it is, is the following is that when you have integral mu electronic excited mu electronic nuclear mu E plus mu N psi ground electronic psi ground nuclear d tau is equal to. Now, what in this what we do is mu n we equate goes to 0 and this is the Condon approximation. So, essentially the dipole moment is enhanced or contribution comes from only the electronic coordinates. So, this so this means what you have is mu e electronic sorry this must be psi e electronic not mu psi e electronic psi e nuclear mu e psi g electronic psi g nuclear d tau. Now, we will see that the mu e electronic will only act on the psi e and psi g electronic. Okay. So, that means this will be equal to integral psi e electronic mu electronic psi g electronic d tau and integral over psi e nuclear psi g nuclear d tau prime because the nuclear coordinates are, are on the different uh, the nuclear coordinates are different than the electronic coordinates. So, they are separate. So, these two are the integral that need to evaluate. So, for getting the electronic transitions one needs to evaluate these two integrals. Okay. In the evaluation of these two integrals I will take up in the next lecture. We will stop it here now. Thank you.